hello, welcome, namaste. My name is Grace, and this is a self-synchronization class. This time is a gift for us. So let's begin sitting nice and tall and begin to move the navel from side to side. Just warming up the spine and becoming aware of the breath. And as you come to center, draw the navel back, draw the chin down, arms on the knees. And then we inhale to reach the arms up and exhale down with a Brahmari breath. Mm. Inhale to lift. Exhale down with Brahmari. back up to center. Move your blanket, bring your hands behind your back, feet up in front, planted on the floor, and begin to shift your knees from side to side like windshield wipers. The hands can be in a variety of positions. I prefer the fingertips pointing away from the hips. Two 90 degree angles of the legs. Side to side, softening the low back, the glutes, the hips. The quads. And bring your knees back up, cross the legs for Kapalabhati, our detoxing breath technique. For Kapalabhati, we are emphasizing the exhale, pulsing the navel in. This is a cleansing technique before we begin our practice. Inhale and exhale to pulse the navel in. all of the air out, exhale. Hold the breath out, exhale a little more. Empty, empty. And full, complete inhale into the upper lungs. Fill the whole lungs. Hold the breath in, full, complete. And exhale. Allow yourself to sit with a natural breath. Just notice how you feel. Deep in the breath. And with our energy clear from Kapalabhati, we now begin a short sequence called Gayatri Kriya for balancing each of our chakras. Beginning on the hands and knees with Marjoriyasan Cat Cow. Inhaling to extend the tailbone and the crown of the head away from each other. Exhaling to draw them towards each other.
Exhale completely with the lifted navel and come to a neutral spine. Cross the ankles and come back to sitting on the floor. Blanket underneath the hips if you'd like. Inhale to sweep the arms up. Exhale to bring the right hand onto the left knee. Left hand goes directly behind the tailbone like a kickstand. Lengthen and then twist from the navel. Then twist the heart and shoulders and turn your head all the way around. Close your eyes and gaze toward the center of your forehead. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to maybe twist a little bit deeper. Turn your head back to center. Inhale to sweep the arms up. Exhale, left hand to the right knee, right hand behind your tailbone. Lengthen tall. Exhale, twist from the navel, heart and shoulders, and turn the head all the way around. Close the eyes. Inhale, lengthen tall. Exhale to twist. Feel the natural and beneficial compression on your intestines and stomach. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, left hand on the floor, reach the right rib cage up and exhale to bend to the side. Draw your shoulder back, slightly upturn your face. Inhale to lift. Other hand down, reach over, bend to the side. Really stretch through the fingertips. Lengthen, reach, maybe even pulse with it a little bit. And inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, clear through your space as the hands come down to the knees. Extend the legs in front. Your feet can be about as wide as the mat, so they're not quite parallel. Flex your toes, press the heel away, interlace your fingers in front of you with the thumb up. Now we're going to come back with a straight back, exhale forward powerfully, keeping the fists at the same level the entire time. Jyoti Kriya A. Inhale back, flat back, exhale forward powerfully. Here we go. Exhale forward, now lengthen up. Release the hands, hold on to your big toes. Lengthen and exhale down in a forward fold. Close the eyes, soften your forehead, gaze to the center of the forehead. Breathing, elbows out to the side, draw yourself down. Maybe draw down a little deeper. Inhale yourself back up to sitting. Interlace the fingers again, thumbs up, Jyoti Kriya B. Inhale back, keep the feet flexed. This time turn to the right. Bring your fists around in a circle, twisting with a flat back, like you're stirring a large 
pot of caramel. Inhale back, exhale forward as you twist. active in the arms and the legs at the same time. Now slow your motion and switch directions. Exhaling around to the other side, active arms, active legs, re-energize yourself to have a full and precise movement. inhale yourself up to sitting exhale the hands down bring your feet together in front of you parvati asan a devi asan wide hips feet together interlace your fingers around your toes depending on your mobility here you can begin by just pulsing with a flat back as if your navel will go to your toes when you're ready you can complete pulsing, and just fold all the way forward. Close the eyes, gaze toward the center of your forehead, and breathe deeply through the nose. Begin to slowly make your way back up to sitting. Hands come underneath the knees, cross the legs. Preparing to energize with Jaya breathing. This is the last exercise of the sequence. Inhale, reach the arms up, fingers spread wide. Exhaling down, thumb comes inside of the fist. Here we go, nice and active. Inhale, reach the arms up, spread the fingers wide, hold the breath in, inhale a little bit more, reach, expand, fill your space with joy. Exhale, sweep your hands all the way down through your space. Backs of the hands to the knees, Jnana Mudra, pointer finger and thumbs touch. Soft forehead. Soft jaw. Allow yourself to be in meditation.
deepen the breath. Reverse the palms down onto the knees. Self-synchronization. Three rounds of spinal flex, moving the arms with Brahmari. The navel draws back with the chin down. Inhale to reach the arms up. Exhale. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. feeling grounded. Come up onto the hands and knees, full body stretches on the floor. Plant the hands, fingers spread wide. Inhale to reach your right leg back and up. Lift the heart and face as you lift the leg. Long stretch. Exhale, lower the knee back down. Inhale, left leg goes back and up. Heart, face, lift, reach. And exhale, back down. Again, right leg goes back and up, lift. This time, bend the knee, and then stack your right hip on top of the left hip. Turn to look over your left shoulder at your toes, having a nice long stretch down the torso into the quad. Bring your hips back to parallel, extend the leg, and lower the knee back down. Other side, left leg goes back and up, reach, then bend the knee, stack the left hip on top of the right, look back towards your toes. Keep the arms straight, press through the hands, twisting, reaching, point the toes, and bring the hips back to parallel, extend the leg, and lower the knee back down. Tuck the toes. Exhale, lift your hips up into Parvathasan Mountain Pose. Pedal out the heels, wake up the low back, the back of the legs. Weight into the left leg, inhale, reach the right leg all the way up, then bend the knee. Let the hip come back, beginning towards wild thing. If you'd like, you can let the right foot come all the way down as the arm floats up into your full wild thing. Keep lifting the hips up, allowing this partial back bend. Breathing, pressing through every limb and slowly float your hand back to the floor, lift the leg up and exhale, both feet to the floor. Inhale, left leg up, bend the knee. Let the hip come back. You can stay here or you can continue to float the foot back and let the hand come up. A partial back bend, a nice long stretch from the leg through the side into the arm. Press the hips upward, breathing, and float the hand back to the floor, lift the leg up, and exhale both feet to the floor. Tuck your knees down, hips towards your heels, down in lightning bolt pose. Making three Brahmari breaths here, inhale. Mm. back up into a tabletop position for our low floor flow, moving between four and a half positions. Self-synchronization. Watch the poses that I do, and we'll do them together with the eyes closed. The hands are in the same position the whole time. Inhale, table. Exhale, the heart and chin to the floor. The hips are still lifted. 
half position, scooch forward, hips lower. Inhale, lift the heart up. Exhale, tuck the navel, hips down, forehead down. Inhale, center, table. Exhale, heart chin. Shift forward. Inhale, lift up, press. Exhale, tuck back and down. Here we go. Shift. 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 Completing in lightning bolt or child's pose. Making one Brahmari breath here. Inhale. Mm. Inhale up to a table, tuck the toes. Exhale back in Parvatasan mountain pose. Bend the knees, look to the hands, step to the front of the mat. Hold opposite elbows, allow your spine to spill forward, maybe swaying side to side slowly. Allowing gravity to naturally draw down this stretch. And release your hands down, press to the feet. Inhale, sweep your arms out to the sides, lift up. And exhale, sweep the hands back down, standing in Tadasan. Preparing for our classical Surya Namaskar Asan. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up, look at the hands. Hips come forward, back bend. Exhale, hands reach forward, forward fold. Inhale, right foot back, lift the heart and face up. Step the left foot back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin to the floor. Shift forward. Press through the hands, inhale, lift up. Exhale, tuck the toes, Parvatasan. Inhale, right foot comes forward, Chetakasan, lift the heart and face. Exhale, left foot to meet the right, forward fold. Press through the feet, sweep the arms out to the sides, lift up, back bend. Exhale, hands down to the heart. Beginning with the left side. Inhale, sweep the arms down, out, lift up. Back bend. Exhale, sweep down, forward fold. Inhale, step the left foot back, lift the heart and face. Exhale, right to meet the left, plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin to the floor. Shift forward. Inhale, press and lift up, bending. Exhale, tuck the toes, Parvatasan. Inhale, left foot forward, Chetakasan, lift the heart and face. Exhale, right foot to meet the left, forward fold. Press through the feet, inhale, sweep the arms up, back bend. And exhale, hands to the heart, deep inhale. Complete exhale, making our second round, connecting to the five pran, the five energies. Inhale, sweep the arms up, pran pran, uplifting. Exhale, forward fold, upon pran, grounding. Inhale, foot back, lift. Exhale, left foot to meet the right, navel drawn in, saman pran, centering. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, lift up. Tuck the toes, exhale back, Parvatasan. Inhale, right foot forward, lift, Vyan Pran, expanding. 
Exhale, left foot to meet the right, forward fold. Press, sweep, and lift up. Back bend, Udan Pran, connection to the whole. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, sweep down, up, Pran Pran, uplifting. Exhale, forward fold, upon Pran, grounding. Inhale, left foot back, lift. Step the right foot back, plank, centering Saman Pran. Shift forward. Inhale, lift. Tuck. Exhale, back, Parvatasan. Inhale, left foot forward, knee down, Vyan Pran, expanding. Feet together, exhale, inhale, sweep up, back bend, Udan Pran, connection to the whole. Exhale, hands down to the heart. Deep inhale, complete exhale. With your feet underneath the hips, inhale to sweep the arms up and interlace your fingers above the head. Lengthen and bend to the side. Inhale to lift upwards, exhale to bend. Slightly upturn the face with every bend to the side. Stable through the feet as you reach. Inhale, back up and exhale, sweep the hands back down. Beginning a standing balance. The feet come quite close together, not touching but close. And begin to shift your weight from foot to foot with the most minute movement possible. Then shift your weight into one foot. Inhale, lift the arms as you lift the knee and then exhale them down together. Shift your weight. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Shift the weight. Inhale, slow and synchronized movement. Exhale to flow back down. The wrists and the toes reach the floor at the same time. Shift. 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 Focus your attention and continue to meditate on this movement. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Invisible shift. Let both feet come to the floor. Shoulders relaxed. And inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, clear through your space as the hands come down, tuck your chin and roll your spine all the way down to the floor. Second forward fold, take a deeper hold this time. Maybe holding the toes or hands under the feet, pull yourself down. Close the eyes and breathe. Allow the upon pran, the grounding downward force to guide your stretch. Inhale to lengthen. Bring your big toes together, fingertips on the floor. Bend the knees as the heels come up. Thighs to parallel, balancing on your toes. Draw in the navel to help guide your balance. Hands come together at the heart. 
find a space in front of you to gaze through. Soft face, soft gaze. Feel all the micro adjustments that are needed to stay in balance. Plant your hands on the floor and step your feet back into Parvathasan Mountain Pose. Exhale your knees down to the floor and come up to sitting on the knees for Ustrasan Camel. Hands to the low back, press your hips forward, lift the heart up. Sink the hips back down. Preparing for our deeper bend, bring the hips forward, bring your right hand down to the heel, look to the heel as your left arm lifts up a half bound back bend. Keep pressing those hips forward, twisting. Inhale back up, bend, hold the heels, crown of the head to the floor, lift your hips up. Counter stretch with rapid pose. Lift the hips, exhale to lower the hips back down, come up onto the knees, hand to the low back, left hand reaches to the heel, Look down at the heel as the right arm lifts up. Press the hips forward. Breathe. Twist. Inhale back up. Rabbit pose, counter stretch again. Crown of the head to the floor as close to the knees as you can. Then lower the hips back down hands to the floor, cross the ankles and come to sitting on the mat. Hands behind the thighs, lower down to the floor, preparing for Ardha Sethu Bandhasan, our half bridge pose. Bring the heels as close to the tailbone as possible. Fingers reach toward the heels. Then tuck your tailbone and roll the hips up. Holding for three, two, one and rolling all the way back down with articulation tuck and roll up hold three two one slowly lowering all the way back down tuck the tailbone inhale roll up holding three two one and rolling back down now this time we're going to hold ourselves up. Tuck and roll the hips up, interlace the fingers underneath the back. Maybe slightly roll the shoulders underneath the back. Press the hips up. Now if you'd like to take it a step further, you can bring the hands onto the low back with the fingertips pointing toward the hips. Come up onto your toes, then lift one leg up and the other coming up into a shoulder stand. Really reach your toes up, create space for your neck to breathe. Then one leg comes back down, coming back into this half bridge on the toes. Wrists come back to the floor, heels come to the floor. Release the hands and slowly lowering all the way back down. Draw your knees into the chest and rock side to side, turning your head the opposite way as your knees side to side, decompressing, softening, relaxing. The breath is the same as it ever was, soft and smooth. Come back to center, wrap the arms around the shins, lift your head up, continue to breathe as you hold yourself in like a compact seed. Draw in everything that you have learned in this practice, all of the benefits. Consolidate, lift, hold yourself up. Breathe, lift. Inhale deeply and exhale to lower your legs and arms, everything down at the same time making three sounds out loud together. Ah, ooh, and e. Inhale for ah. Ah. Inhale for 
Robert Earl. Um, inhale for E. E. Deepen your breath. Sense the space around you. Feel the texture of your mouth. Begin to move your fingers and toes, slightly turning your head from side to side. Draw your knees into your chest. Roll to the right side and come up to sitting. You can bring the blanket underneath your hips if you'd like. Palms down on the knees for three spinal flex with Brahmari. Inhale, reach the arms up. Sitting tall, eyes closed, gaze to the center of the forehead. Palms come together at the heart, sitting in a symbol of balance. Soft forehead, soft jaw. Listen while I chant. Um, I can't mandala karam vyaptam ye na chara charam thad param darshitam ye na tasmai shri Guru Ve Namaha Om Shanti 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 And with a bow, Namaste. Thank you for sharing this practice with me. I look forward to seeing you soon.